Rachel Binti Syarifuddin And I am Susi Susanti Binti Akhirman My name is Maraini Binti Bazi And lastly, I am Hadita Binti Isok Our video is regarding a tax incentive for green building in Malaysia What is green building? Green building is a building that focuses on increasing the efficiency of resources used such as energy, water and materials. Next, we will tell you about the benefit of green building, why we are interested with the green building. Green buildings are designed to save energy and resources. It also minimizes the emission of toxic substances. Apart from that, it harmonizes with the local climate, traditions, culture, and the surrounding environments. These buildings are able to sustain and improve the quality of human life while maintaining the capacity of ecosystem at local and global level. It also makes efficient use of resources and sends the right message about a company which is well-run, responsible, and committed to future. Countries involved in green building. There are more than 60 countries involved in this area. For example, United States, Canada, China, India, South Korea, and others. In Malaysia, to be qualified as a green building, they must have GBI certificates. Green Building Index was launched in Malaysia on 21st May. 2009. Green Building Index will be rated based on six key criteria. First is energy efficiency. Next will be indoor environmental quality, sustainable site planning and management, material and resources, water efficiency, and lastly, innovations. The rating will be first is platinum. Second is gold, third is silver, and lastly will be certified. On budget 2010, government introduced the tax incentive for green building that have GBI certificate. The one who can apply for the tax incentive are property buyers and construction companies. A property buyer is a company that purchase or acquire green building from developer. A construction company is the one who construct and develop the building itself. The objective of introducing the tax incentive is to encourage the public and private sector to invest in green technology and environment. We move on to type of incentive. First, GBI Certificate Incentive for Tax Exemption. Any person incurs qualifying expenditure to obtain GBI certification for a building used for his business qualifies for tax exemption, which is equivalent to 100% of the amount of qualifying expenditure and is allowed to be set off against 100% of the statutory income for each year of assessment. Qualifying expenditure means additional expenditure incurred in relative to construction of a building, alteration, renovation, extension or improvement of an existing building. Any unutilized qualifying expenditure can be carried forward to subsequent years of assessment until the amount is fully exempted. This tax exemption is given only once for buildings awarded GBI certificate from 24th October 2009 until 31st December 2014. 
how the business can apply for GBI tax exemption. Once apply and register of GPI certificate, the design assessment on the building will be proceed. This will be assessed within 12 months upon completion or when 50% of building are occupied. Final GBI certification issued by LAM with GBI green cost sum once GBI green cost sum valued by quantity surveyor and certified by professional architect or engineer. And final completion verification assessment have been done. And finally, the applicant can claim the tax incentive. Here, the example of tax computation. If the first year incurred qualifying expenditure is 5 million, all the qualifying expenditure can be deducted from the statutory income, which is 18 million ringgit, and then the tax payable income will be 13 million ringgit. The tax payable which is 25% from the taxable income will be amount 3,250,000 ringgit. If there was balance amount of qualifying expenditure for this year, the amount can be carried forward to the next year of assessment. Second, stamp duty exemption. The buyers of buildings and residential properties awarded GBI certificates acquired from property developers are eligible for stamp duty exemption on instruments of transfer of ownership of such buildings. The amount of exemption is on the additional cost incurred to obtain GBI certificates. The exemption is given only once for the first transfer of ownership of the building and for sales and purchase agreement executed from 24th October 2009 until 31st December 2014. We move on the process for stamp duty exemption. The process similar as the tax exemption. However, after final GBI certificate was issued by LAM, the application gives original copy of GBI certificate and GBI green cost sum to the purchaser. Then, Purchaser buys property and signs for SPA agreement. Stamp duties are payable upon the signing SPA or upon purchasers obtaining bank loan to finance the purchase or transfer of the title to purchaser. Finally, the applicant can claim the stamp duty exemption. Another incentive that green building can apply for are renewable energy and energy efficiency. There are three types of incentive for these categories. The first one is pioneer status. The pioneer status provides exemption from income tax on 100% of statutory income for 10 years. Accumulated losses and unabsorbed capital allowance incurred during the pioneer period can be carried forward and deducted against post pioneer income of the company. Under the investment tax allowance, 100% of qualifying capital expenditure incurred within a period of 5 years can be utilized again 100% of the statutory income for each year of assessment. Unutilized oil allowance can be carried forward to subsequent years until fully utilized. Companies generating renewable energy or energy efficiency can also apply for import duty and sales tax exemption on imported machinery and equipment that are not produced locally. For locally purchased machinery and equipment, full exemption is given on sales tax. Exemption is given for a period of one year, commencing from the date of the application is received by MIDA. The computation for pioneer status is as follow. Under pioneer status, the gross income received from renewable energy and energy efficiency project will be deducted against operating expenses. Then the adjusted income received will set off against capital allowance. Then you will get the statutory income. The statutory income received is 100% exempted. Meanwhile, the computation for investment tax allowance is as follow. The ITA of 100% for 5 years will be offset again 100% of the statutory income. We proceed with the challenges on constructing or investing in green building. Many developers and project owners in Malaysia still fail to practice the green and sustainable building features. The reasons are first because of the lack of action able knowledge or expertise in green building industry. 
Malaysia, as a developing country, is still in its earlier stage of green building. Therefore, not many expertise are available in this green building industry. Also, there is a shortage of financing the green building project in Malaysia as well as the incentive encouragement in evolving with the green building industry. Higher cost of implement green building is also one of the challenges for the company, especially for a private company. That is why many green buildings in Malaysia were developed by the public company. Lastly is the lack of public interest in green building which eventually lowering the demand for green building in the industry. Besides that, there is no local authority enforcement in Malaysia in developing green building. Thus, the developers are not very keen in constructing green building. Even though government initiative in giving tax incentive for green building is benefiting for the developers, the criticism are there. The GBI income incentive and stamp duty exemptions is standard and not enhanced if the GBI certified building attaining higher category. For example, if the company go for platinum from silver, the incentive is still the same. Second is that there is no clear and detailed guidance as to what constitutes the qualifying expenditure. The argument is that whether the registration fees, facilitator and consultancy cost of attaining GBI certificate can be qualified as qualifying expenditure. And lastly, many research has been done that shows the current tax incentive for green building in Malaysia may not be sufficiently attractive to the public and private sectors as compared to those given by the other countries. So, as a conclusion, government needs to improve the incentive reward for the green building and also create awareness among the Malaysian people in order to achieve the objective of introducing the tax incentive for green building.